peace be to you. Today we celebrate the feast of Saint Lawrence, deacon and martyr of the church. This saint, Saint Lawrence, died at the persecution of Valerian, the emperor, in 256 AD. The Valerian emperor was so cordial with the Christian faithful at the beginning. But as the days rolled on, at the instigation of his friend Macrine, he started to persecute the church and the faithful. He asked the priest to bow before the deities of his own gods and started to persecute them. It was at the time of Pope Sixtus, when Pope Sixtus and other priests were celebrating Mass, Emperor Valerian went over there and killed the Pope and all the other six priests with him. When Pope was killed, Saint Lawrence asked him, when can I have the chance to die for Christ. Pope Sixtus said, in three days you will come back with me. It was on 6th of August, Pope Sixtus and his priest were killed by Valerian. On 10th, St. Lawrence was asked to submit all the riches of the church to the treasury of Rome. St. Lawrence handed over all the riches to the poor and brought all the poor people before the emperor and submitted them to him saying that these were the riches of the church. King Valerian got infuriated and tied him onto a iron plate, burned him to death. Saint Lawrence was a great star of the faith, lives as a great variant teaching the faithful centuries after centuries the great faith of Christ Jesus. As a martyr, he lives every day encouraging people to live for Christ as grain that fell on, this, on the earth it had given lot of great harvest to the church of God. Saint Lawrence lives even today. When we live like him, surrendering everything for the sake of Christ, we follow the faith of Saint Lawrence. Let us get the intercession of him to all the people who amaze wealth in the name of the church, in the name of the institution, in the name of Christ Jesus, who may be converted to Christ Jesus and follow the faith of this great saint. Amazing wealth in the name of church, in the name of Christ Jesus is again a sin against God. Let us never, never amaze wealth in the name of church or Christ. Let us amaze poor for the sake of Christ. Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you for all the gifts you have showered upon us. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day. 
maybe they strengthen us lord for we are your children many a time lord we do not differentiate between want and need we always want to things though the things are not of need we have the tendency to amaze things lord whenever we buy things help us to realize the need of the poor around us we ask this through christ our lord amen